Kool-Aid. And today we have on the couch, I am Joe. I am Joe. How are y'all doing today? Hi. We're so happy to be here. We're very oh my fashion. God. Thank y'all so much for coming. Are, are those? Oh, I'm sorry. These? These? You mean the Tamisha Aman high tops? Oh, wow. <laughs> yes, they are. We have fashion on the set today. Do you wanna, can you get so under? if you guys don't know, I am Joe. We have Auntie Chan, Darby Lynn Cartwright. Hi. And Alexis P. Bevels. What does the P stand for? It stands for pack your bowls, mom. We're getting high. <laughs> Did you guys have some of the um, scallion uh, cheese buns? I did, and can I have some more? Yeah, definitely. Let me just pass you some fondue. Okay, I've never cheese. had fondue. Oh, this is my first thing. Fondue. It's so cute because it's just melted cheese. It smells like chilies if it were expensive. Oh, I used to I work at a fondue cheese. restaurant. Mm. You did work. You did melt. Yeah, I worked at the melting pot. This is so good. You baked this earlier. Oh, we baked this earlier today with uh, Chef Lorraine Wim. Okay, Lorraine is hot. Yeah, she's hot. Mm -hmm. uh, that's very beautiful. Very beautiful. I, excuse me, yes. The gorgeous. Hot. That that tasted like food. I like that. What if it's like a disco ball moment? Could you show us? You said, you said, hey, we're doing 70s. Uh -huh. And I said, okay, 70s. Drew Barrymore, mm. she's doing Coke. As a child, oh. what would she want to look at? Uh, a disco ball. Period. Mm -hmm. And so you came in with the fashion with the Tamisha, with the Tamisha Iman high top shoes and the disco ball. Well, the look. reason I did that is because Tamisha Iman was alive in the '70s. Oh, okay. <laughs> I love a reference queen. Do you see okay. The, the matches. Yes. And now we're gonna segue into a segment called "She Ate That," where we watch clips where you guys ate that. Oh. Okay. First, we have Never. Auntie Chan doing "Whip It" at Bar Redacted. <laughs> oh, this okay, was, what do we have here? This was so good, too. Yeah, this is this one of my favorite things right I've ever done. I love Darby in the back. Yeah, I'm probably in the back going, "Please stop talking to me. I would like to watch this." <laughs> you know what? Barb's have threatening auras, and this is. Quintessential bar. Very that. I honestly I do. I miss the club friends that you never like saw out. Yes. Okay, but it's yeah. It's one of those things too that you say like all the time of like, oh yeah, he's my friend. Well, I mean, I've never seen him outside of a bar, but yes. yes. This was just one of my favorites because it is. I think it's brave to be in a gay bar and throw yourself to the sticky ground. Here oh, we go. Oh, Here we oh. go. Oh. Period. They are eating that. Look at, oh, look at Alexis. You Honestly, look like a witch. I'm, <laughs> I am drunk. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Why do you look dead? <laughs> you sold it. Where do you get I don't know where the, where this was coming from. I want to break down like the layers of what was like, happening that I, day. Yes. I really like, want to just know where you get. I think like, like I think what I makes you wake up in something. the morning and say, I want to throw myself on the ground. Well, I don't <laughs> choose violence. I react to it. And this was. I, I think the, violence, I think I the think audience there was rather dead. So you said, oh, you d I could do that too. Oh, you want to see dead. that. Yeah. That was good. Yeah. 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 Oh, that was that's cute. Really nice. And that's when she ate that. <laughs> Next, we have a video of Darby and Alexis performing oh. together. Are you guys ready? Oh. Yeah. It's, I, there's so many duets that we do, and only one that we like, and this is the one we like. Yeah, yeah. only one. This is from a show that has since died what called show? Bleep Wins a Talent Show while Alexis oh. Bevels. Do you remember that show? Yeah. Fucking crazy ass name. show. That was kind of wild. It was so fun because when it started, it was just Darby doing all the work and uh -huh. I would get drunk. Uh -huh. And then yeah. when we moved to this location, I had to do all the work, but I would and still get drunk. Would get drunk. Yeah, now we don't have that show anymore, but we do have our own cabaret show, live singing cabaret. What do we call it? Two queens singing. Yes. Two queens singing. And we end yeah. with this number every time. Okay, so just to be clear, I'm singing the Barbara part, but I will die as Judy did. If you guys don't know this duet, it's done by Barbara and Judy. And I was like, I feel yeah, you will be more of a Judy 
Yeah, so, so my, you know, my, I can't have my kids year round. Uh, <laughs> it's not just my choice. Uh -huh. It's a lot my choice, uh -huh. but also the state. And um, <laughs> have you seen the movie Judy where she dies at the end? Uh, I mean, I know the story. Spoiler, I yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I haven't seen it either. I feel like I will probably die eventually. And then you're like Barbara Streisand, only... Uh, yeah, I'm a Barb. You, well, you don't... I'm a Barb! Oh. Period! <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, you know, just a racist China. Oh. I really want you to get your own store in your base, like your own town in your basement like Barbara Streisand has. Isn't that crazy, mm. though, that like, she Porter. was like, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to build a town in my basement. And you know what's even crazier is we all went, of course. Of course. That only makes sense. And then we're going to like publish a book about it. Yeah. Well, when the world ends, who will be laughing? Her. Oh, Her. no, 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 no. She'll be dead. Yeah. Because she'll be oh, in a big... Oh, oh. Not, not the Barbara Streisand I know. <laughs> <laughs> and that was a time Alexis and Darby ate. <laughs> <laughs> and next, we have a photo of me and when I ate that. So here's a political photo of me. Please tell me how beautiful I am. Very oh my gosh. Go ahead and tell me how great I look. Oh, stunning. This was shot by um, Gracie Meyer, a friend of mine. She's yes. a photographer, reach out for her, the real slim Gracie. Like it. Gorgeous, it was for the um, Vote Naked campaign. Mm. Yes. Okay, oh. can I be, okay, I love that campaign. However, I did try to vote naked uh -huh. and I was turned away. Um, see, that's not how that works. They actually wanted you to vote from home. Okay, you know, I would like to take that back. Uh -huh. um, does anyone have a time machine? <laughs> you stop going to public places. Fully I need to stop eating. I'm supposed to drive. That I'm, fe oh, I'm feeling it. I feel good. I think I'm feeling it. I feel giggly. No, 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 no. Uh -uh. I don't want to drive into a lake. Okay. I mean, I do, but that's not like my, my choice. Mommy my body, my choice. Uh, okay. Oh, you're right. You're right. You're right. We'll call a neighbor. And that was the time I ate that. <laughs> And now we're segueing to our next segment, the Puff Puff Pageant, where I ask you crazy queens some questions and you try to answer them without laughing or smiling or anything. Oh. If you know the answer, you have to go, eh. Okay. Should we practice? Like a buzzer? Yeah, we should practice. practice. Okay, let's practice. Okay. Will Auntie be getting laid tonight? Eh. I feel like it was Alexis. Yes. You are. Correct. Correct! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Let's start with the first question, y'all. Mm. How many Christmas albums has Rosie O'Donnell produced? <laughs> How many? Six. <laughs> what? You gonna guess? That's about it. How much cheese did I eat? Three. Auntie, do you wanna guess? <laughs> Four. Okay, so the answer is two. The answer is two. Rosie O'Donnell has a Rosie Christmas album and another Rosie Christmas album. <laughs> that is the name of them. God damn it. We should listen to those songs for Insta. Oh my God, we really should. Okay, your next question. What are the names of the gay penguins that live in the Central Park Zoo? <laughs> what are they? Uh, Siegfried and Roy. Uh, no. Tegan and Sarah. Bitch. <laughs> Would you like to try? <laughs> Rosé and Denali. Uh, what's up? Do you watch Denali? TV? Are you trying to start something? Uh, what is this? You been on Reddit? Oh, now you're silent. <laughs> I'm trying not to smile. Silent? Well, sadly, silent. all of you are wrong. Uh, Darby was the closest. It's Roy and Silo. <gasps> okay, so I bought that children's book because you know they wrote a children's book uh -huh. about them. The Penguins? Mm -hmm. They broke they up. Did. Yeah, they did. They broke Actually, up. Actually, um, so I was in a play that where I played with, Roy. With, did you really? Yes, I played oh. a gay penguin. Next sad. question. True or false? At the time of the Stonewall Riots, it was illegal for men to dance with men and women to dance with women. Uh, true. Uh, true. It seems like true, but I want to go with false. It is false. <laughs> oh, oh, man, they win. It is false. It was illegal for men to dance with men, but not for women to dance with Well, because that's high. Oh, that's yeah. high. That's, that's, high. Okay. that's so high. Get it. Uh, get okay, yeah. next question. What are the colors of the rainbow flag and what do they represent? Uh, uh. The colors are, of course, Roy G. Big, and they represent um, too much time, uh, creativity that, that could have been stifled just a little, <laughs> and, and hope. 
Okay, okay. Anybody uh, else want to answer okay. that? Because that was not it. <laughs> Red for passion, orange for uh, passion community, fruit. yellow for happiness, green for wealth, of course. Yes, of course, of course. Because we have money. Blue for depression. Happens. We do have Purple depression. For change. The change of, I'm, of money. I'm glad change. you're telling us how these colors make you feel. <laughs> that is not the answer. Do you have a, an answer? Yes, of course. I just wanted them to get it wrong. Mm -hmm. um, so the original pride flag was actually just one color. It was oh. white. Okay. And it stood for come. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Or surrender in battle. Or white power. Huh? Canceled. <laughs> no, no. Well, sadly, you're all wrong. The colors are pink, red, orange, yellow, green, turquoise, blue, violet, black, and brown. What they stand say? for sex, life, healing, sunlight, nature, magic, harmony, spirit, black queerdom, and brown queerdom. That's literally what I said. Magic. I was gonna say red, white, and blue. Uh, that was my second guess. What does magic mean? What, what is magic? Gays, they're magical, they're fairies. Witches. Ah. Oh. Wait, what, magic okay. is in the flag okay. for real? Yeah. We don't deserve that. <laughs> All right, next question. What planet represents the transgender community? Uh, of course, it is Saturn. Oh. Because it has rings and be beautiful rings. Okay. Uh -huh. Chromatica. Mm. Oh, okay. Come back after your stupid uh, flag. What do you think? I want to say Jupiter, because it's big. Ooh. Oh. Oh, <laughs> right. yeah, that's right. good. Sadly, you're all wrong. Um, it's actually Mercury. Why? I oh. have no idea. I just am that reading is, what's on uh, the card. What grinder emoji are you? Grinder emoji? Mm -hmm. They have emojis now. I guess. Oh. Uh, the anal one? Yeah. Okay, so what is your grinder like type out, like for your name? Uh, I think mine is J and then like the alien head. Okay. Boop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like that emoji, I like the alien emoji. It's like, that's cute. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, um, I, I don't know. I think I would write AP McCracken. That's like my pen name. Oh, okay. McCracken? McCracken. Yeah, because when I had a, when, because when I had an Instagram before drag, uh -huh. my name was Release McCracken. Oh my god. Um, I don't know if I don't. I haven't been on Grinder in a while. And that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> and our last question for the evening: Do you eat the booty like groceries? <laughs> and Darby lost. Darby <laughs> lost today. I've been in a relationship for ten years. I don't eat shit anymore. Ah! She didn't start, ask about eating shit. She said he's eating booty. Oh, yeah. yes. Yes, but I make sure I wipe it down outside first, and I do Lysol, mm -hmm. and then I bring it in. Okay. I wash my hands. What about you? I eat the booty like Instacart, not even yeah. groceries. Like, you order that on delivery. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah. <laughs> and thank y'all so much for being here. They're all bottoms. <laughs> well, Alexis, Auntie Darby, thank you so much for joining us this week. Do you have anything to plug? Oh, we make a show. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, check us out on YouTube, IMHO The Show. We watch TV and then we talk about watching TV. It's pretty fun. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I, I'm tuning in, I'm tuning in. <laughs> Thank you. This has been another edition of Bambi Bakes. I've been your host, Bambi Bakes Kool-Aid. And meet us next week back in the kitchen when we bake with more special guests and decolonize weed from the kitchen to the couch. Bye.